In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create highlights for your Photoshop composites. Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create highlights in Photoshop. Before I show you the technique, I have to explain why it makes sense to use highlights and why they are important. I will demonstrate it for you with the aid of this photo I created a while ago. So what are highlights exactly? Highlights are the brightest spots on your images. If you have a closer look on photographs, you can clearly see the highlights they contain. If you take this picture for example, you can see the highlighted areas are mostly on the edges of his head and there are some highlights on his shirt too. So why are highlights important? Highlights are important for images because every time you've got a light source, there must be highlights. And since every picture contains light, unless you want to create a completely dark picture for whatever reason, you need to add highlights to your composite too. Makes sense, right? Okay, now that we have some background knowledge, let's get back to my picture and I'll show you step by step how to create highlights. Step 1. Define your light source. According to the light source, in this case the moon on the top right corner, we have to draw the highlights as shown now. For that, we are going to use adjustment layers. For those who are not familiar with adjustment layers, you can do a bunch of cool stuff with them. Step 2. Create the adjustment layers and adjust the colors. Now I'm going to click on the adjustment layer icon on the bottom right corner of my layer panel and I'm going to choose hue and saturation adjustment layer. The first thing that we need to do is to create a clipping mask because we don't want other layers to be affected by the adjustment we do in a second. So to do that, you have to click the clipping mask button and now a little arrow appears right next to the adjustment layer. Furthermore, you have to click the colorize button in the next step, because when you move the slider without checking colorize, the whole picture will change its color very weirdly. And we don't want that right now. This is the time where you have to adjust the color with the hue slider to the color of your light source. Make it brighter with the brightness slider, but not brighter than the original light. Now you have a fully colorized object. Step 3. Invert the mask by clicking Ctrl-I or Command-I on the Mac and draw the highlights. As I already mentioned, you have to invert the layer mask of the hue and saturation adjustment layer and now you have to choose a white color brush to start drawing. I personally start with a hard brush for the edges and then I use a softer brush to smooth out the inner edges a bit. However, this is a step of your likings because you can draw your highlights however you want. Now I'm going to summarize this technique. So first you have to define your light source. In step 2, create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and adjust the colors to your light. Don't forget to clip the adjustment layer to your object and check if you have a mark set at the colorize option. Step 3. Invert the mask and start drawing your highlights with a white brush. That's it with the video for today, I hope you enjoyed, if you did feel free to like and subscribe to this channel and see you in my next video.